received a new message. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard.
We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. So I'm deployed to a hotspot on Novaria. My usual squads aren't medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s who are here. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Silver Sun Strip. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has declared Silver Sun Strip a top Citadel attraction. It is known for its wide variety of entertainment facilities and vibrant nightlife. What else is in the area? Silver Sun Strip is a popular destination with both tourists and longtime residents of the Citadel. Its most well-known attraction is the Silver Coast, a high-end casino and entertainment facility. Any good restaurants? The Ryusei Sushi Restaurant is often cited as a local favorite. Unfortunately, it is currently undergoing repairs due to extensive water damage and miscellaneous destruction. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. I had this perfect spot. Long sight lines, good cover, no way to get flanked. Hey. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room.
Beginning round one. saying that because you won.
brought to you by Elkfell Ashland Energy. We power, we provide. Marlebon works in finance. What does he know about combat? You sell model ships to tourists. Besides, the guy's smart. Yeah, lots of people are smart. Doesn't mean that... And he's rolling in credits. Did you see his combat gear? Are you really surprised he won? Gear's not that important if the player's good enough. I could beat Marla Vaughn like this. Really? Willing to put some money on it? Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um, hmm, hello, and, hmm. Hello, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent, overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. Hey, how's 
surely treating you. Senek, hit the calm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? No. No problem at all. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... A shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. 
you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. some gear. Maybe some Metagel. The next match will be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors. We'll be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors.
protection, or just peace of mind. should have won. It was rigged. You're just saying that because you lost. You're just saying that because you won. Combat simulator competitors, please prepare for your matches on the lower level. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up.
people in your command to come into their own, though. Shut up. Who said I was talking about you? Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement... No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. <sighs> when you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara.
Marlebon's team should have won. It was rigged. You're just saying that because you lost. You're just saying that because you won. The next match will be starting soon. Enjoy the show. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that, did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Definitely. When this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. <laughs> you see? It doesn't take much to pull a few Gs. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard.
I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> Which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! <laughs> Joker, you are a great pilot and a terrible liar. <laughs> you don't say. You know, there's a bond, Shepard. A wordless bond of loyalty between commander and pilot. And today... Today, you pay for your own drinks. Fine. Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, 
real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit, right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? It's a lot of responsibility, and you haven't passed the tests yet. I know, and I heard every word you said. I'm 100% committed to this. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shep. What the hell? No. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high quality stuff. <clears throat> Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? <clears throat> you gonna watch or you gonna join in? <clears throat> Want some pointers? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> Got a ways to go, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's 20. Ah, I see some sweat. Good stuff, Pepe. Forty, nice. Not bad. Oh, yeah. That's sixty. High five. Funny. You know, I could really go for a nice juicy steak. Juice. You look like a pro. Shut up, Vega. Touchy, touchy. That's halfway to my record. Great. One hundred. That's impressive. Thanks. Just eighty two to go.
Stay on target. to say. How you feeling? I might need help pulling on my armor next time. No doubt. But you earned your name today, loco. Damn. You still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't.
Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. So are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on its... Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe. Now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. He 
say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no, the Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Telcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions, but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, 
we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the Counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the Counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander.
here all the time.
Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital's seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologized to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, Grunt. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Come on! You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. 
Guess we'll find out. So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission? All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? That was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. I, I thought I was pretty good. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James, I'd, I'd win, right? What if I fought dirty?
brought to you by Eldfell Ashland Energy. We power, we provide.